Governor of Castina State, Aminu Bello Masari, has retreated the call for citizens to be allowed to bear arms in self-defense as part of measures to curb the spate of insecurity, especially in the northwest part of the country. Masari, who is also the chairman of the Northwest Governors Forum, disclosed this on Thursday when he led some of his colleagues in the region on a condolence visit to the Sokoto State Governor, Aminu Waziri Tambua. Well, he insisted it was totally unacceptable to allow criminals to bear arms and use the same to attack and kill unarmed citizens. The governor argued that dealing with insecurity had nothing to do with religion or ethnic, ethnic groups, adding that we need an unusual approach to deal with these people who are nothing but animals, animals terrorizing our people across the country. Masari also called for collective efforts by both the leaders and citizens to take over ownership of all their forests across the country from bandits and other criminals. Like seriously? To take ownership. No, they have to do their business anywhere they found themselves. The constitution says they must stay. You you are not restricted to anywhere. You can stay anywhere. According to you people, you are always quoting that constitution. So now you want all the regions to take care of their forests. Is that what you are saying? To take ownership of all their forests across the country from bandits and other criminals. Who are the bandits? They are full and yes men. They are your people. In their large numbers, you might have uh, maybe 92% uh, or 1% of uh, other uh, tribes, but 99 point whatever is from you people. You are not dealing with that. Masari also called for collective efforts by both the leaders and citizens to take ownership of all their forests across the country from bandits and other criminals. His Kano State's counterpart, Abdullahi Uma Ganduje, described reserve forests especially in the northern part of the country as home to criminals he said the call for the reclaiming of the forest was now or never adding it is no more issue of farming or hunting in our forest but for us to take full ownership of the forest tambua while responding commended the governors and their entourage for finding time to visit the state at this time he described bandits killing people as criminals with no ideology but targeting anyone irrespective of religion or political affiliations. <laughs> can, you ha can you see how funny these people can be? Can you see how funny they can be? Now it's getting to them. They're, now you now know that they are animals. But if they are operating in the south, south, you people will keep quiet. You say, oh, they should not do anything. That everybody has the right to move around anywhere and do their business anywhere they deem it feet they want to start building armory to destabilize the peace of the nation i urge the security agencies to move on immediately and clear any beggar who is trying to go into arms struggle in the name of self-defense in the north we only need prayers to defeat bandits in the north however the units unity of bandits and the people up north is not negotiable mm -hmm. This is the reason why Namde Kano or Hamadi K1 of Biafra formed ESN to take care of eastern parts of the country. But what are they saying? They are saying a different thing altogether. How can we fight bandits after you have given them millions of naira during negotiating or negotiation? You flop us. Eh? Nation that suppress the truth we pay dearly for it. So what we are saying now is that these people, the so-called bandits, are more powerful than our military men. But we can see the way military are really thriving. They are really showcasing their talents in Southeast. So why is it that same thing cannot be done in the North? Is that what they are telling us? Our gallant soldiers, our soldiers that we know that they are very, 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 very strong. Now they have been reduced, they've been reduced to, to what? That I don't know. Our military men that used to be very, very strong. And I believe they are still strong. What is killing them is corruption. They are not giving them the right uh, uh, equipment, the right weapons to work with. All these Tucano and whatever, what are they for? So they are waiting for them to be taken, to be transferred to where? To be transferred to to Southeast. Where the real criminals are, you are not using it there. So it's just for sure. Lai Mohammed is telling us that Ebuari... Uh, there's nobody that has beat the record of Buhari when it comes to buying equipment. Oh, you bought the equipment, good and fine, but 
what is the result of the equipment you bought the security is still there you bought it is it to to for showmanship or is it for advertisements is it not because of uh, insecurity and the insecurity is escalating and you say is the one who has done well in that area like seriously so this guy this so-called northern governors now are now saying that uh, yes uh, uh, what is dead now is that the the everybody should take ownership eh? but all of you came out and started abusing akiri dolu ac accusing the northern southern governors hmm. governor of Benue states asked buhari to arrest the terrorist group or should allow our citizens to carry him but federal government rather arrest the television owner and the journalist that covers the event now the northern are seeking for the same thing ah you see you see the injustice bandits have come to see what is being done is them to them is window dressing they will be readily available for politicians to use during the 2023 election as was done in 2015 before they became monsters that cannot be tamed bandits which are boko haram have been empowered by the government to as to an extent of fighting their employers good man unlike gumi the chief speaker of the group he has vindicated governor samuel autumn of benway state you see you better seek for the help of amoteku in southwest self-deception is one of the problems most northerners have well, why the insult please what is wrong with a brother doing a legitimate business in his neighborhood it won't be funny if arms are legalized due to the type of corrupt judici judicial and executive system we have though it will help us reach our destination what till you they talk go make all our gallants people no do their work no do not be peaceful not is peaceful governor invite gumi and inform him now thank you they are people of the same religion with you funny people breed a beast and it will come for your blood the beast the not bread has come for their blood and they are crying wolf you people think you are you are safe they are coming for you faith government now the canoe is your problem sir not bandits because you people are not treating the bandits with the same energy federal government is using against ipop and esn that is the problem because i can't see i see no reason why they will be telling us that uh, you know from the from their position the nigeria army is in uh, is handicapped the entity what they are trying to tell us that the entity is handicapped who are these bandits if really they if really they want to do the right thing who are they they will finish them 